Hello, beach friends. We're kayaking over to a sandbar with SWFL Shell Guide because a few days before I filmed this adventure, a tornado had touched down in our area during a pretty nasty storm that I assumed kicked up a bunch of great stuff onto the beach. I had already checked out Sanibel and now I wanted to see what the Marco Island area had on its beaches. Spoiler alert, there are quite a few fantastic shells and also got to say hi to a bunch of live creatures since it was a nice low tide. So if you're ready to take in the sights of a gorgeous Florida shoreline and explore another beach with amazing treasures, let's go to the beach. Okay, so I am super excited. We are kayaking over to some sandbars over in the 10,000 Island area, in the Marco Island area. I've got a bunch of new viewers. I just wanna throw it out there that I do a new video every Sunday. So please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you won't miss any of my adventures. So let's do a quick check-in. It's 54, a little chilly. The tide is super low. It's a negative low tide, and I, re I cannot wait to get to the water but I get a little distracted because there's just shells everywhere. This fantastic lightning whelk, I can't pass that up. The shark eye, eh, it's a little bit pitted, so we'll probably leave that for a hermit crab or somebody else, but boy, I am really excited because already I haven't even gotten to the water yet, grabbed myself two of those lightning whelks, and there's just treasures everywhere. It's gonna be an awesome day. So can't wait to get down to the water. That's where I like to do a majority of my shelling. It's going to be a good tulip day. I have a feeling. So that is a banded tulip. And that is another great looking lightning whelk. And another banded tulip. For whatever reason, this area is has a lot of those banded tulips and it has a lot of these sand dollars. So that's something else I always look forward to collecting when I'm down here are these gorgeous sand dollars. Love them. All right, now here's another lightning whelk, but I'm not gonna mess with this guy. I know it's alive. Now I know it's alive because right there, I can see the animal. So the animal is black, that little black thing sticking out, that is the front of the shell, believe it or not. So that creature is alive and we'll see more, but that one, I figure I'm just gonna leave it where it is. Now, what in the world is that? Literally, big old question mark. So that is a critter. A critter has crawled through the sand. It's kind of looking for water. So I decide to kind of turn over what's going on here. The last time I saw something kind of funny like this, it ended up being a live baby's ear. This is a lettered olive. And so they do dig around in the sand. I'm gonna show you one in action in a little bit. But this guy was kind of sedentary. He had created his little question mark. And so we'll just take a peek, say hi to this live lettered olive. And I'll help a little, little snail out and get it back into the water next to that lovely sand dollar. Here you go, buddy. And this gorgeous, gorgeous snail, that is a horse conch. So that is the Florida state shell that is alive. They have that bright orange body. And in the back there, you can kind of see its operculum right there. That's its operculum. And then the size of the barnacles on this shell, they're so big and so awesome. So I was pretty psyched to find this live creature just kind of hanging out right on the beach there. Get another look. And this is just to show you size. So that's my hand, it's a pretty big shell. And it's got all sorts of stuff going on there, but it is alive. I was kind of hoping I'd find an empty one, but not yet anyway. I literally just got here. So that is a live horse conch in all its gorgeousness. And a sand dollar. Can't resist the sand dollars. And this area does happen to have, look how pretty, so many of them. And I still sometimes really can't even wrap my head around the fact that you just kind of walk down to the water 
and you just pick up a whole bunch of sand dollars. Now these are five whole keyhole sand dollars that we have here in Southwest Florida. They are a member of the urchin family. And I'm just gonna go ahead, oh, by the way, that right there, that is not a Genonia. <laughs> I've been called out before by like little things in the background. That's just a piece of giant Atlantic cockle for you guys with very sharp eyes. And this is one of those videos that's going to drive me a little crazy because there's shells I see and I don't know if I missed them or not. So be on the lookout. At this point, I figure I'll just get this over with, you know, just pick up a bunch of sand dollars, put them in my little container and then call it a day just so I'm not distracted the entire time. So that's it. Got my sand dollar quota. Now we're going to start looking for shells. And that is a lettered olive that is collectible it is empty it is pointy and shiny and perfect so that is a lettered olive and i'm probably yeah i'm still marveling at all the sand dollars but i can resist i i got a bunch of them at this point so it's okay i just wanted to show you though they are all over the place it's you got to watch where you step so you literally don't step on them it's so awesome all right this is a fighting conch it's kind of escaped the sand. It is also waiting for the tide. Look, another. So that is a live horse conch. And so there's all sorts of creatures. Here is another one. And there is a sea star attached to it. And then I wanted to peek just, to make, yep, it's alive. Could you imagine if there was like this big empty one there and I just assumed it was alive? Now this is the squishiest thing I think I've ever touched in my life. That is a sea cucumber. It is super squishy and it is a critter. So we're gonna get that little squishy creature back into the water. And then I notice all of these horse conchs. So here's another one, gorgeous, gorgeous horse conch. And that is a nine armed sea star what else we got i know there's more critters here all right that is another horse conch so they're all kind of coming out of the sand looking for that water and the water's coming look at them all all those little tails kind of poking up which is ironically the front of the animal but those are all live horse conchs and here's another one actually i think that's a lightning walk oh, okay we have a short spined sea urchin there here is another short spined sea star. Hello, gorgeous. We'll just give a quick hi. Oh, they're so pretty. Put it right back where we found it. And here's a lightning whelk shell. And I'm thinking, okay, there's no whelk in there. Oh, but there is a big hermit crab. So there is a big hermit crab in there. And I like to give it just a minute, see if it's gonna be friendly, come out and say hi. Oh. We got a drill on this lightning whelk. I don't know what they think they're doing. It is empty unless it feels like eating a hermit crab. All right, let's see what else is laying on the beach here. I see on the right here is another horse conch, a whole bunch of them. So fun to see the live animals right there on the beach. And that is a pear whelk that's in really good condition. Very nice colors, really pretty pear whelk. And there is a Florida cone. I do love finding cones. They're tough to find in really good shape. So really happy with that Florida cone. Here's a giant Atlantic cockle. So that other little thing that was kind of sticking out of the sand before, just a piece of that. But they can be tricky, these shells. They can masquerade as other things. And so of course I have to check out this, this big lump. So this is a lightning whelk. And I'm like, okay, it's either alive or, all right, it's not alive, aha, another hermit crab. Yep, that is one of those giant red hermit crabs in a really, really pretty shell. I mean, it's gorgeous, it's still got its color. Ugh, well, you lucky crab, you keep your shell. Just put you back where I found you. And here is another, okay, so that's a little, that's a little horse conch, sometimes called those ponies. And here is another big lightning whelk. 
And this one also has one of those giant red hermit crabs in it. And I was really kind of hoping, all right, he was moving, he or she was moving around just a little bit. And I was kind of hoping it would come out and say hi. So I figured if I set it down on the beach and I get real quiet, just kind of hang out for a sec, see if it's going to come out and say hi. And then I got quickly distracted by the top snail <laughs> that's attached to the shell. So I had to check that out. So then I just kind of waited and I did wait for a bit. I sped this up just a little bit because man, he, he or she was taking their time. So they're thinking about it, kind of crawling out. Look how big. It's huge. Oh, it's so pretty and hairy and awesome. And I'm just thinking how strong that critter must be to carry around that really heavy shell. That was it. <laughs> I probably could have waited a little bit longer. I was happy to see the critter at least come out. You can kind of get a, a good look at that gorgeous crab. Now I'll just put it back where I found it and see if we can find some things that we can keep. All right, it's a Sunray Venus clam. For a clam shell, it is quite fancy. Very pretty clam shell. And that is a chestnut turban. And believe it or not, that's gonna clean up just fine. Don't worry too much about all that kind of stuff on it. It'll pick off. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh no, it's alive. So that is a live. Florida fighting conch. We'll just leave it there. And that is also alive. That is a lace murex. And those are really weird and squishy looking. I don't know what the animal looks like. I've only ever seen it just kind of squishy. And here we have two more murexes. So that is another lace murex that is empty. So technically you can definitely keep that shell if you so desired. And then this other really gorgeous colored shell, that is an apple murex. A little bit bigger than I normally find. Fantastic color, great texture, just a really pretty apple murex. Okay, that is a lace murex. They're a little bit longer. Their aperture or the opening is a little bit smaller, but that is a lace murex. Oh, now that is a lightning whelk and I flip it so fast. Look at the outline. The actual aperture also was very dark. Gorgeous, gorgeous lightning whelk. And here we have a paper fig. It's another fun shell to collect. They're a little bit thin, a little bit harder to get those whole, but that is a paper fig. So I'm back over here. This is kind of like a tide pool. This is not the gulf. This is just kind of like a little pool that has settled with a whole bunch of shells. Guess I didn't find all that much here, but I'm just kind of scanning, hoping something pops out at me. All right. Who am I to resist this gorgeous banded tulip? Definitely hold on to that. And the ones down here also are usually when I find them, they're in really good condition. So that's another really happy reason to be down here collecting tulips. Now that is a spiny jewel box and it is hinged. Now it's not in terrific shape. I happen to like them when they're super duper spiky, but it is hinged. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that lovely hinged spiny jewel box. And what do I see here? All right. Just a little piece of another. Oh, that's so pretty. I really like that kind of like army green color going on. So that is another lovely banded tulip. And they come in all sorts of colors. That one's one of the lighter varieties. Oh, they're so pretty. And that's another lighter one. So that is also a banded tulip. And that one's a little, it's kind of missing its top. It's a little beat up. So probably not going to take it. I'm going to reserve my, uh, my weight for the nice shells like this. It's got its top, perfect aperture. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the shell bag. And believe me, my shell bag was heavy. Another really gorgeous Sunray Venus clam. Kind of looks like it's got smudged pattern on there. Really neat. And then your usual guys are here. So that is a Docenia. 
and here is your ponderous arc. So those are relatively common. They are here as well. Well, I'm just kind of whipping around. I really, I didn't even know where to start. There, there was just stuff everywhere. Then I discovered this gorgeous live lettered olive. Probably saw some movement out of the corner of my eye and they move so very slowly. So it was a lot more fun. I sped it up and then you can really kind of get a look at how it moves and how its mantle, its body kind of envelops the shell. And so when it dives into the sand and it kind of crawls around, the body of the shell wraps or the body of the animal wraps around the shell. And that's why the olives typically, or they can if they're freshly dead, they can be very, very shiny because their shells are interacting with the body of the animal most of the time. It is kind of protected. So you see that lettered olive kind of smooching into the sand there. I just thought that was really cool. Definitely more fun when you speed it up or we'd be sitting here for about three minutes watching that. So that was a little lettered olive. And then this is a live calico scallop. Don't really see the eyeballs. You can kind of see them just a little bit. And whew. I've been having a great time inspecting everything, so why don't you enjoy some beach time? looks like I spied now this is a live banded tulip and those little bat ears it almost to me it looks like little bat ears so that's its head there so that and you notice that the it's reversed like what you think might be the front of the shell is actually the back of the shell so there that's the front of the shell and there's its little head so I thought that was kind of neat just seeing this little creature just kind of crawling around I'm sure looking for something to eat they are carnivores so they're looking for another snail to eat and these guys are algae eaters so that is a live Florida fighting conch and that little bump in the shell right there that's called a stromboid notch and that notch is so their eyeballs can kind of look out from under their shell so when you see that little curvy piece of the shell that's for the little eyeballs of the Florida fighting conch. How cool. I thought that was awesome. Not shocking at all. Another terrific banded tulip. Awesome. Oh, it even still has some of its shine. It's, it's awesome. And I didn't know where to go. <laughs> I mean, there were just shells everywhere. Not so much in the water, though, which was a little... I don't know what you want to say, ironic or all the good stuff was really up on the beach. Look at that. That's a colorful moon snail, also known as a gaudy nautica with just the prettiest coloring. Oh, it's gorgeous. Fantastic gaudy nautica. And then this lump, you know, just kind of mixed in with all the other things on the beach. Look at that fabulous alphabet cone. Oh, gorgeous color, fantastic size nice aperture it's got its little point so i was really psyched with that giant alphabet cone that is awesome so i'm not alone there are other tours that do come over here but it is hardly crowded plenty of shells to go around and just imagine that like all the stuff i'm finding everybody else is pretty much finding too so it was really really fun it's not very warm though it was a bit chilly Tide was nice and low, and again, with the storm the previous day, or pre two days before, I just figured it was going to be awesome here on the beach. And look, speaking of awesome, that is a spiny jewel box that is hinged with terrific spikes on it. And that is another pear whelk. So it's funny, I bend down to pick up one thing, and I end up seeing like three other things. And luckily, I did not overlook this fantastic limpet. Again, I have started finding them a little bit more lately, but oh, I was really happy with that. That's an Apple Murex, seen better days, and that is also a pear whelk. That's in decent shape, I'll probably hold on to that one. 
And another, oh, we'll leave that one behind. But it, it was just great with so many fantastic goodies. Another banded tulip. Awesome. Love that spiny jewel box. And the lightning wolks were in such great shape and nice sized ones. They were getting a little bit on the bigger side, not on like the monster ones, but still like a decent sized lightning wolk. Always really fun. Another hinge spiny jewel box. I'm giving it just a little, see if there's any resistance, just to see if that's a live critter or not. So I get a little resistance. I'm gonna leave it or put it back in the water. And that is another colorful moon snail. Not quite as colorful. Let's see this one again, another colorful moon snail. Those are terrific finds. Not quite as colorful as that other one we found, but <laughs> probably gonna go ahead and take them anyway. Oh, a cone. All right, cool. Now, a lot of that beach stuff really just kind of pops right off just like that. And be careful. Don't use your fingers. I've cut my thumb trying to kind of like push stuff up. So don't use your thumb. Try to pop it off with your fingernail or something. And that is a little horse conch. So those big giant creatures, that's what they start out as. A little tiny shell like that. A nutmeg, yay! I do love those nutmegs. So that is a common nutmeg. Nice and beaded, nice color. Oh, this, I was really hoping, it's not. I was really hoping that that was an albino Florida fighting conch. It's albino enough for me. I mean, it's really light. There is some color there. And the shell guide, Ali confirmed, it's not an albino. I'm gonna keep it anyway though. It's my almost albino Florida fighting conch. <gasps> oh, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that is another hinge spiny jewel box. Got some nice spikes on there. Very, very cool hinged spiny jewel box. Wow, beautiful banded tulip. Nice size, just gorgeous. Guys, I didn't know. They were just, should I go left, should I go right? It was awesome. And another hinge spiny jewel box. Let's see what other kind of goodies are here. All right, we've got another lightning whelk. Again, decent size, nice color. We're gonna hold on to that. I'm just kind of putting them to the side. And the, all right, that one's broken, so that's one of those little horse conks. Probably leave that here. What else do I spy? All right, a turkey wing. So those are here as well. Another lettered olive, I'm giving it the old shine test, kind of run my thumb on it, seeing if it's all nice and smooth. What else can we check out? All right, the slippers, those are generally here as well. So that is here representing, I see a bunch of jingles. There's your apple murex. That's a piece of a tulip. So a lot of jumbled stuff, it's a surf clam. And in between all the jumbled stuff is a gem every now and then, or a bubble. So those are little bubbles. Very cool. So yeah, it really was a sheller's dream on this particular day. Got my little pile. And I'm inspecting more, all right. Another lettered olive. All right, we're gonna do another kind of pick through. Let's see what else is here couple olives, <laughs> another spiny jewel box that is hinged. I mean, I've never seen so many in the same day and the live ones at that. There's another one of those colorful moon snails. That's a little lace murex. Is it alive? Nope, that is a keeper. And another nutmeg, maybe? Or is that a tulip? That is a tulip. So that is another banded tulip. Oh, and that's a juvenile fighting conch. And the juvenile shells are just so pretty. Yep, I'm gonna hold on to that sandy shell as well. And a top snail. Really cool, great color. It's got its little top, a little point and everything. 
and another little top snail. So it really was amazing. I just stopped what for a little a minute or two, and there's just goodies buried and next to each other on top of each other. It's just stuff everywhere. Another little top snail. So they must have been having a top snail convention or something, and the storm came through and interrupted because there was just loads of them. I don't know how you feel about top snails. I think they're kind of cool. So there is just all sorts of terrific fun things to pick through. Yet another top snail. And what am I reading? Ooh, an apple murex. Oh, really nice. No, that is a lace murex. My mistake. So I can see how you can get them confused. So that is a live lace murex. That's going to have to go back in the water. But all those, except for that one, that is also alive. And that one. So those I'm going to put back in the water and those I'm going to put in my shell bag. I don't think I went too far yet. There's another top snail. Still kind of combing through this little bit of a pile. Awesome banded tulip. A little cone. Although it's really missing. It's devoid of any color really. And I just love just kind of scanning and then all of a sudden something will just kind of pop out at you. So that's another lettered olive, another apple murex, but check that out. That my friends is an albino nutmeg. I have never ever found one. I didn't even, I don't know, I guess any of them can become albino, but I'd never found an albino nutmeg. I was super psyched with that. Awesome. So that's my little pile of live fellas and gals. And that one, that also that little horse conch that you might've thought I didn't pick up. I checked it out. It was alive. So I'm going to put my friends in the water. Now don't, if you are returning snails and shells to the water, don't throw them, place them gently. You can hurt them by, you know, don't just chuck them in the water. If you can, be very gentle and get them in the water. And this is what I'm talking about. When something just kind of pops out at you. Look at that awesome shark eye. And that we're going to go with the Paul Newman shark eye because it is blue in the center. Just stunning, awesome, awesome shark eye. And I flipped it over just to see if it was a false shark eye or a true shark eye. Survey says true shark eye. We'll see if any other little goodies are going to pop out at us today. All right, another nice looking lightning walk. Terrific. <laughs> Yet another live, yep, live spiny jewel box. I wonder why some of them, I guess some of them, their spines break off and others they don't. I don't know. I love the spiky ones. Oh, they're banded tulip. And the shelling is a lot better in the winter. So I kind of figure while the shelling's good, just go out and get what you can. Oh, that's well, a real pretty horse con. Uh, a Florida fighting conch. My mistake, but it's a little chipped. So I'll leave it there. Lord knows I have enough fantastic shells to bring home. All right, another little lightning whelk. Another nice. Okay, one that's a little bit light, a little medium color. And then almost like a blonde one. So the colors do vary. I still haven't nailed down, heard lots about male, female, I don't know. All I know is I like them. And just look, they're everywhere. There, There's no like rhyme or reason, it's just there's just shells everywhere. There's kind of a rack line, but not really. It's just kind of like smattered all over the place, which was awesome. Now look, oh, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So that is a, a spiny jewel box that really maintained those spikes. Gorgeous shell. So it's a mess and I'm loving it. All right, anything else gonna pop? Oh, you see it? And as I'm editing a lot of this, like I see myself pan across the beach and I panic like, oh, did I miss that? But I didn't. I saw it, another fantastic 
Paul Newman, Shark Eye. Great find. Oh, gorgeous apple murex. And I was just admiring the inside. Now that where the animal touches the shell, it's gonna be a little bit shiny. And that's another example of that. This is an apple murex. I know it looks a little beat up, but it's gonna clean up just fine. So look at this, There's, the tide is coming in. So <laughs> at least it's pushing me a little bit more on the beach. And so I'm not as, you know, concerned about where I should be shelling, but it doesn't matter. Go left, go right, go forward, go backwards. There, there are shells everywhere. It was fantastic. And look at this stunning Florida fighting conch. I mean, that is just gorgeous. And you see the little notch on the bottom that little notch, that's where its little eyeball comes out. Very cool. Yep, it was every once in a while I kind of picked my head up. Just marvel at the beauty that I am surrounded by. And I am so glad that I get to share these walks with you each week. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. Searching for shells, seeing live creatures, all right, it's a little chilly, but it really was gorgeous. And I was having so much fun. It was hard because normally I'm in the water and you just, you know where you need to be. On this kind of day, there were just things smattered everywhere. So it, it was kind of hard to determine where exactly I should be to find all the goodies. So I was just zigging and zagging all over the place and managed to pick up a couple of these bubbles. And of course, a couple of those top snails from their conference that they had. So picked up a couple more tinies, awesome little shells. Oh, in case you didn't know, the bubbles glow under UV light. Really, really cool. So my time here is winding down. That's what happens with tours. I don't get to stay here all day. And just as well, the last time I went out by myself, I need a little help getting back. But this time I have a guide. So I'll say goodbye to the horse conks. Goodbye to all the other awesome creatures. And I had a very heavy shell bag and a very light heart. So we paddled back to the marina. And then next we're gonna look at all the goodies we got. Now, SWF Shell Guide takes pictures of the shells that she collects. And so this she will post on her social media feed. She also doesn't take these home. So she allows her guests to pick through them. So I do get to go shelling all the time. So I allowed the other guests to go through and take what they wanted. And then this is what I chose from the things that she had collected. Not too bad, but I have to say, I was kind of impressed with the stuff that I managed to get as well. Yep, not too shabby. So I did get a bunch of really nice sand dollars. Managed to just get those out of the way into my little container, the Florida Fighting Conks and the Juvenile Fighting Conks. We have the bubbles in a Buttercup Lucene and some of those Sunray Venus clams. Whole pile of lightning whelks. There was just, there were every, they were awesome. A couple of nice shiny olives, a couple of pear whelks, some nice shark eyes, a couple of cones, that chestnut turban, the spiny jewel box. And then we also have the lace murex. That one spotted slipper snail got a couple of those nutmegs, a couple of those apple murex, some little tiny horse conks, bunch of those colorful moon snails, and just a pile of tulips. And I figured eh, while they're there, I might as well grab them. Same with the top snails. If they're there, why not? And then my favorites. These are my favorites of the day. I just loved that alphabet cone, big alphabet cone just sitting there, that gorgeous colorful moon snail. One of the shark eyes, the lightning whelk, that tulip, that hinge spiny jewel box, that gorgeous, gorgeous apple murex, mostly because of the aperture, the albino nutmeg, and the keyhole limpet. So yeah, I had a fantastic time. Guys, thank you so very much for coming with me. Special shout out to my Patreons who monetarily support me and all my adventures that I do and everybody else. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your love. Next week, we're headed back to Sanibel. So you guys have yourself a great week and I'll see you again next Sunday.